So this patient suffers from plantar fasciitis, which is a tightness of the plantar fascial band, the bottom of the foot, which actually acts as like the string in a bow to help hold the arch of the foot up. Um, over time, if they don't resolve with conservative care, we actually release part of that band. And typically when we do this procedure, the patient would be on their back. Now this patient happens to be on their stomach because she's having other procedures done with her Achilles. But the goal of the procedure is actually to cut the middle portion of that band that extends from the heel all the way to the toes to release that tightness. And we're going to be doing that in, with an endoscope. It's called an endoscopic plantar fasciotomy. Um, and what we'll do is we'll release that and we'll watch that in the video. What we're looking at here is we're actually looking at the plantar fascial band. We've actually gone just just superficial to it, and what we'll be doing is releasing that tissue. So when we cut that band, you'll actually see the deep muscles underneath. Okay. So we're actually plowing the field and cutting that band. You can hear it actually sounds like celery as it's being cut. And you can see here we've completed the cut to the plantar fascia, and you can actually see the deep musculature underneath. What will happen over time is now that that band's essentially been lengthened, it will scar into that new longer length therefore alleviating the tightness in that plantar fascial band. So this patient also, with her plantar fasciitis, also has a, a large spur in the bottom of her foot where she gets some pain from that. Part of the procedure will actually be to burr that off with like, we call it a reciprocating rasp, which is essentially like a, a file that will smooth that off so she doesn't have the irritation from that bump. So you can see here now that actual spur that was in the bottom of the heel is now gone. There's no, basically what you're seeing, any little shadowing is just the bone paste, which we'll irrigate out here in a second. So we finished the procedure is actually an incision here, an incision here with one stitch on either side. A uh, patient will be placed in a below the knee walking boot for approximately four weeks. After four weeks, she'll go into an uh, athletic style shoe, and in about eight weeks, she's back to full normal activity.